The Beginning of Everything, written by Brian Cox. Imagine everything you know, the earth, the sun, the stars, squeezed into a tiny point. This point, smaller than a grain of sand, held all the matter and energy in the universe. This was the state of the universe about 13.8 billion years ago. Then something incredible happened. The Big Bang. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space like fireworks on a summer night, it was the expansion of space itself. Imagine a balloon with tiny dots drawn on it. As you inflate the balloon, the dots move away from each other. Similarly, the Big Bang caused space to expand, spreading everything out. The moment after the Big Bang was unimaginably hot and dense. But as the universe expanded, it cooled. This cooling allowed the building blocks of matter like protons and neutrons to form. These tiny particles would eventually come together to create everything we see in the universe today. The Explosion That Birthed the Universe The Big Bang is often described as an explosion, but it was a very different kind of explosion than we experience on Earth. There was no center to this explosion, no point from which everything expanded. Instead, space itself expanded everywhere at once. Imagine a loaf of raisin bread dough rising in the oven. The raisins represent galaxies and the dough represents space. As the dough rises, the raisins move apart from each other just like galaxies move apart in our expanding universe. In the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was incredibly hot and dense. It was so hot that matter couldn't exist in the way we know it. Everything was pure energy. As the universe expanded and cooled, this energy began to transform into matter. This transformation is like water vapor condensing into droplets. As the universe cooled, energy condensed into tiny particles, the building blocks of everything we see around us. from chaos to the first elements. In the first few minutes after the Big Bang, the universe was a chaotic soup of fundamental particles. These particles were constantly colliding, interacting, and transforming. But as the universe continued to cool, order began to emerge from the chaos. The first elements to form were the simplest hydrogen and helium. These elements formed as protons and neutrons combined through nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun. This process released immense amounts of energy bathing the early universe in a brilliant glow. The formation of hydrogen and helium marked a crucial step in the evolution of the universe. These elements would later become the raw materials for stars, galaxies, and ultimately, life itself. From the chaos of the Big Bang, the universe was beginning to take shape. Imagine a giant construction set scattered across the floor. The Big Bang was like scattering the pieces. The formation of hydrogen and helium was like assembling the first basic blocks. There was still a long way to go, but the foundation of the universe was being laid. For hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, the universe remained a vast, dark expanse filled with clouds of hydrogen and helium. But gravity, the invisible force that pulls matter together, was at work. Over immense periods, gravity caused these clouds to clump together, becoming denser and hotter. Eventually, the pressure and temperature at the centers of these clumps became so intense that nuclear fusion ignited, and the first stars were born. These early stars were massive and short-lived, burning brightly and then exploding as supernovae. These explosions scattered heavier elements forged in the hearts of stars throughout space. Gravity continued to shape the universe, pulling together vast clouds of gas and stars to form the first galaxies. These galaxies were not yet the majestic spirals and ellipticals we observe today, but rather smaller, irregular clumps of stars and gas. Imagine a slow, graceful dance with gravity as the choreographer. Over eons it drew matter together, shaping clouds of gas into stars and stars into galaxies. The universe was no longer a dark expanse but a stage where countless stars burned bright. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, formed about 13.5 billion years ago, just a few billion years after the Big Bang. It's a barred spiral galaxy, a vast collection of stars, gas, dust, and planets, all held together by gravity. Within the Milky Way, about 4.6 billion years ago, a cloud of gas and dust collapsed to form our solar system. At the center of this swirling cloud, the sun ignited, and the remaining material coalesced into planets, moons, and asteroids. Earth, our home planet, formed about 4.5 billion years ago. It is a unique and precious world, teeming with life and covered in vast oceans, towering mountains and lush forests. We are part of this grand cosmic history, connected to the universe through the very atoms in our bodies. 
Imagine a vast, intricate tapestry woven over billions of years. The Big Bang provided the threads, the stars and galaxies are the patterns, and our solar system, our Earth, is just one small, precious detail in this magnificent cosmic tapestry. The Big Bang Theory explains how the universe evolved from an extremely hot, dense state to its present form. But it doesn't tell us what, if anything, came before the Big Bang. Some scientists believe that the Big Bang was not the beginning of time but rather a transition from a previous state of the universe. Others suggest that our universe is just one of many universes in a vast multiverse. The question of what came before the Big Bang is one of the greatest mysteries in science. We may never know for sure but that doesn't mean we should stop asking questions and searching for answers. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast, uncharted ocean. We have only just begun to explore the shores of the universe and the vast depths of time and space remain largely unknown. The story of the universe is a story of incredible change from a tiny point of infinite density to the vast expanse of stars and galaxies we see today. It's a story of creation, evolution, and wonder. By studying the universe, we learn about our place in the cosmos, our connection to everything around us, and the fundamental laws that govern the universe. The universe is an invitation to explore, to ask questions, and to never stop being curious about the world around us. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that you're looking back in time, witnessing the afterglow of the Big Bang and the grand story of the universe unfolding.